Hey friends, welcome back to Sweet Fern Homestead. If you're new here, I'm Hannah, and this is where we talk about sacred home, sacred roots, and sacred rhythm, or as in today, cleaning your laundry room. Now, I had told my Patreon community that I had a very different video in mind for this week. But then, I was working on our bedroom because this area of our bedroom is the studio. It's like this little nook that is just like perfect for a studio. And then over there is our bedroom. So I've been working on the bedroom, but Dave has been having a lot of feelings about the laundry room. We have a very tiny little laundry room, washer, dryer, one shelf, that's it. And I admittedly just dump stuff in there. I just dump stuff in there and pretend it doesn't exist and just like close the door and walk away. And it makes Dave crazy. He doesn't know what these piles are. He doesn't know what anything is. He's like, what's going on? Do you, do I need to do it? Are you doing it? Like what, what is this? I know that it is one of my bad habits, but I said, Dave, I'm working on the laundry room, but right now I'm doing our room. Isn't that more important? And he was like, no, it's not. That's what he was like honed in on. Like this room is causing me so much stress. So I just decided I was just, he was going away for a couple days. I decided I'm just going to get in there and I'm going to transform that room. Totally unplanned. I didn't even get a before of like how bad it was, but I'll show you like all the different stuff I grabbed from out of there, like laundry hampers. There was like wrapping paper like just weird stuff in there and so much clutter and it was so filthy it was filthy so the first thing was just like cleaning it and then as I was looking at the walls I'm like there's no way I can make this room look good with these walls and it's a paint that was painted by the former owners it's not even a color we would want so I decided I'm like sweating I decided I was just gonna paint it, so I went down to the basement, I grabbed some paint, and I just went for it. Now, what I can tell you is that this was the hardest room to paint that I have ever painted because there was like nowhere to put my, my roller tray, there was nowhere to put anything. I had to like cover the washer dryer with towels, put my stuff on there, and then I constantly had to move them around to get behind it. I was like, not happy. I was not a happy person. And it's like the smallest room. So in my mind, this was gonna go so quickly. It was gonna be over. It was just gonna be this wonderful surprise for Dave. And I was miserable. I kept like dropping stuff and yelling and the kids were like, are you okay? I'm like, no, I don't like it up here. But I got through it. Once I got that second coat of paint on, I used Dove Wing. It's actually very similar to the color I'm wearing here. So I used Dove Wing, which is a Benjamin Moore color. It is absolutely stunning off-white. I'm going to be doing Dove Wing all in the top floor of our, of our house. It's important to pick your shade of white. The white that you can see here in any of the grooves, anywhere it's grooved, is just like the classic white that basically comes, like I think it's called ultra white. And you can see on the flat spots, and again it's kind of dusk here, but um, you can see that's the cloud white paint that I chose. So here's the old wall color, here's cloud white. Here's the ultra white, and then here's the cloud white. So if you can see, like this is the ultra white, and you'll just notice that it just has so much more depth to it. So I wanted to just show you that. Now I very, very, very spontaneously decided to paint in here because I thought if I don't do it, I'm probably gonna not do it. So I didn't even prep anything. I didn't take any of the things off the wall. I just decided to come in here and throw up some paint that we already had onto the walls and just make my mark, make the move. That way I'm committed, I'm in it. And, um, and then I can come back and take things off and, and uh, 
you know, paint in those spots. Now I know a lot of people wait for everything to be perfect before they begin something. I do not suffer from that affliction of perfectionism. I am more of a very spontaneous, I just got this in my head to do it and I do it, which is why I get a lot of things done. Um, it's just not always done incredibly well. So I am trying to do things better. And um, so once I get kind of the most of this paint on, then I'll go back and just take my time and go through and take things off the walls and prop the walls. But you know, this has worked for me. So I just like basically was just like on a tear, like I'm gonna be ruthless. I am just gonna get rid of stuff. I'm gonna wash every single thing. And as I was going through the process and I'm doing this for Dave, I realized this laundry room is an extension of my work, of my studio, of my thrift shop, because that's where I everything goes immediately upon entering the home. It goes into that room, which is partly why there were so many piles and so much clutter. And then everything that's washed gets hung to dry on the racks that are built in in there. And it was just like a mess. And I thought, wow, if I organize this and make this a room I wanna be in, my work will have a nicer flow. Like this is actually going to benefit me greatly. And like, what do I need when I'm in here? Like what tools do I need? Um, you know, and I, I just kind of like stood back and said, okay, I've got my hangers, I've got, you know, this, that. And I had just gone thrifting at the end of December and bought everything I needed for January. And so I had all of those clothes, got them washed, got them hung up. You can see like the color story is so beautiful. And um, I'm just thrilled with it. It will create such a nicer environment for me to be doing my work in. So that was wonderful. And then I decided that I needed to just do a little bit of decorating and I wanted to keep it incredibly simple. I wanted the feeling when you walked in that room to just be calm and peace. Now, I am a collector of baskets. I love baskets. And in our living room, we used to have this basket wall. They were very trendy for a while, but I'm not a big believer in trends. I think you do what you do, and if you like something, you do it. So I still had the baskets from this basket wall, and I went ahead and just hung them up in there. It is so peaceful, it is so beautiful. I get to see my beautiful baskets. And then on the shelving, I actually took a basket and put it over the um, dish, the, not dish, uh, laundry liquid, and it just kind of masked that. All you have to do is kind of pop it up to get your liquid out. And then all of that shelving row is baskets, it's all baskets. And so I was able to put some sewing projects up there. I've got some beading projects that are up there. I've got some yarn that's up there. I use yarn to like tie packages sometimes um, for my shop. What else is up there? one of the baskets is holding like all these random things like we have this powder for dust mites because i'm severely allergic to dust mites and we have rugs up here unfortunately and so we use that powder and it like deactivates the dust mites oh, i forgot to put mascara on i was wondering why my eyes looked very sleepy today and i don't know it just has some random stuff in there that dave uses for stain removers for the airbnb sheets and um, and then a whole other basket that is, well, one I think is for his stain remover and one is for all the other rando stuff. And then I have a feather duster in there so we can just kind of keep it nicely dusted, keep the cobwebs away and dust the top of the machines because they do get dusty with the lint. And then I put another basket for the lint collector and for tags that I cut off from the thrifting. So uh, it's not an official garbage can, just a basket so that it fits that entire theme in the room. Uh, I hung a little antique mirror that I wasn't sure what to do with. It is very calm and very simple. And when I hung up all the clothes that I had washed, for the shop, it just looks so beautiful. And um, yeah, Dave was very, very pleased. So once that project was done, I then came into this room and I've been working in here. I haven't actually done any filming of that because it is really just, it's 
there's nothing really to show like I'll show how it looks after but like it's just not it, it's really me decluttering I am doing a deep 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 decluttering of like years of my life I've been able to put together like a bucket of some kid memories that I'm saving a few like baby blankets dolls quilts that I made blankets my mom made and that's it and just some artwork and just tucking all that away in one bin I'm trying to not just collect, collect, hold on, hold on. So I'm in a deep release right now, like major, major deep release. And it feels amazing. I just brought in an entire car load, two savers, and that was wonderful. So I am really proud of myself for being able to do this. And, you know, you can go watch, I made a video on sacred aesthetic and there are some rules. And one of the rules is, is if it doesn't have a home, it goes. And I have been the queen of shoving things in drawers, shoving things in closets, shoving things anywhere you can, and um, pretending they don't exist. And I'm like, 2023, my commitment to myself is I am not doing that anymore. And um, so the laundry room feels absolutely amazing. It was such a simple makeover in a room that we had just overlook but I thought about it how much time I spend in there and that every single family member uses that room and now it just feels so good the kids will be able to go in there they'll be able to put their laundry hamper down do their clothes they'll have plenty of space because there aren't piles of stuff anymore it is going to be very clear like the only basket that stays in there other than the garbage basket is um the basket that I put, immediately put in the things that I've thrifted and cut the tags off of that it, that's ready to be washed. And that's currently empty because I already did my shopping and washing for the month of January. So there's nothing else that will happen. That basket will be able to stay empty. And that is actually a really good feeling. And then if we need a basket for anything, during this month, if we need to grab something or you know move some things around, we have that basket and it's available. Or if someone's doing laundry and they want to separate like different colors out as they're doing their laundry or whatever, then there's an available basket there for that. So it just feels really good. I'm super proud of myself for it. And you know, paint is magical. I am going to also do the trim. I haven't done the trim yet, but I am planning to do the trim. And it is just like a coat of paint changes a space more than anything you can possibly do. And I realize that not everybody is an off-white <laughs> like fan like I am. But if you have, I have so many off-whites that I love. I could talk, I could do an entire video on off-white paint. Maybe I will. And um, you can pair things that you love with that off-white paint. Trim colors can be bold, they can be sage, it can be, I have one called Pashmina that I love. I just bought one called Intrigue and I'm gonna be doing that and I'll show you. It's a very like bluish green, grayish, it's just gorgeous and I love the name of it too. So I'm gonna be using that on the trim and then that way you get your pop of color but you still have that like relaxing blank canvas of the off-white. And one of the other things that I love about the off-white paints is that you get to decide whether you like like some lavender in there, some greens, some grays, some yellows, and you can really play with that. They have such a personality of their own, but that is another video. So I will end here and as always, Thank you for being here. I appreciate you.